In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem that's called calculating the pH of a weak acid titrated with a strong base. So as the name implies, you're going to be given the formula of a weak acid. Mine is acetic acid CH3 C HCH3CO2. And you'll also be given the formula of a strong base. Mine is KOH. Now I'm recognizing that the KOH molecule dissociates into the K plus cation and the OH minus anion. And the OH minus anion is the basic component. It is uh, K plus is neutral, OH minus is a base. So I'm just going to be writing OH minus in this equation. Um, first thing that I'm going to be doing here is setting up a chemical reaction so that I can make an ice table. My acid is going to donate one of uh, its hydrogen ions that's going to leave it as CH3CO2 minus and the hydrogen ion is going to go over to the OH minus ion to make water. And then like I said, I'm going to be making an ice table from the information in the problem. Now the ice table that I make in this problem needs to be done in units of moles, not done in units of molarities. So I have to start by calculating the number of moles of the acetic acid. I can't just stick 0.530 in this ice table like we would normally do. To calculate the number of moles, I'm going to use the molarity 0.5300. That represents 0.5300 moles per liter of solution. And this solution is 191.3 milliliters, which is 0.1913 liters. So this is going to give me the number of moles of acetic acid. 0.53 times 0.1913 is 0.1014, we'll say, moles of acetic acid, CHCH3CO2. And then we're going to do the same thing for the OH minus. So we want the molarity of the KOH. It is 0 0.9500. That represents 0 0.9500 moles per every liter. The actual volume of solution that we have here is 71.52 milliliters, which is 0 0.07152 liters. 0.95 times 0 0.07152. This gives us 0 0.06794 moles. So once we have both of these moles figured out, um, because we are doing this reaction with a strong base, that means that this is a reaction that's going to go completely um, not exist in equilibrium. So what we want to do is analyze these two initial amounts that we have in our ice table, and we want to determine which one is the limiting reactant, which is the one that we have the least of. We're just comparing these two numbers, which is the smaller number. Once you've identified the smaller number, that smaller number is going to be the x term in your ice table except for instead of using x you're going to be using this number right here because the oh minus is going to react completely we are going to use up all of the oh minus in this reaction uh, and then like we would normally do in an ice table we're going to keep that stoichiometry the same all the way across i'm actually not going to write anything for water because as you know water doesn't matter um, and then once we get that number written in, we're just going to do the math down each one of the columns. So for our first column, it's going to be 0 0.1014 minus 0 0.06794. This means we have at the end, we have 0 0.03346. Don't forget that these are moles. We have zero moles of OH minus, and then we have 0 0.06794 moles of CH3CO2. Now what you're going to do next depends on exactly how you end up here in, in your ice table. If at this point in the ice table you have a number other than zero for your OH minus, you will use this number to calculate the pOH of the solution and then um, that will be your answer. That's not what I have here in this particular case, but I'm just going to make a note of that. So if you have OH minus at the end, then what you want to do is first calculate the molarity of the OH minus, because remember that this number is just moles. So you're going to take the moles, you're going to divide the moles by the total volume of the solution. So you got to add both of these up together. You'll calculate the molarity and then you will use the molarity to calculate the pOH of the solution. And then once you get the pOH, you'll use that to calculate the pH. 
Now that's, again, that's not what I have here. So I, this is not a strategy that I'm gonna take. If you do not have any OH minus, then you will be using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate the pH. That's what I'm gonna be doing. pH equals pKa plus the log of the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of the acid. So look at this, Alex actually gave us the pKa. We don't have to calculate it. The pKa is 4.70. The log, we need the concentration of the base. Remember, the base is the thing that has fewer hydrogen atoms, three hydrogen atoms versus four hydrogen atoms. The concentration of the base, for the concentration of the base, we're going to use 0 0.06794, and then for the acid, we're going to be using 0 0.03346. Now, you might be screaming a little bit saying, wait a minute, um, I just literally said over here, these numbers are not molarities. These are just moles. And here I am plugging moles in for molarities in both of these equations. Why am I doing that? How am I doing that? The only reason that that's a valid thing for you to do in this situation, specifically in this situation with Henderson-Hasselbalch, is that if we kind of digest a little bit what's going on right here, the concentration of the base, that is going to be, I'm going to erase my squiggles here, the concentration of the base is going to be the moles of base divided by the total volume of the solution. And then all of that is going to be divided by the concentration of the acid, which will be the moles of the acid divided by the total volume of solution. So in this one really unique situation, the total volume and the total volume cancel and we're left with moles over moles. So we can take this shortcut of not actually calculating the molarity and everything is gonna work out just fine. Now, if that makes you nervous, you can go ahead and calculate molarity and you could fill that in and that you're gonna get the same answer. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I just worked out this side of the equation and then I'm gonna add 4.70 and I get an answer of 5.01 to two decimal places.